Let's get started with the Puerto Rico fun, Puerto Rico madness and badness combination. I think it is. You see a red dot? Yep. Bye. Bye. No Bye. hugs. Bye. Bye, Mom. Bye. Love you. Have a good One eternity later. Hello, vlog. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new, what's good? What's popping? It's lit around here if you didn't already know. And I'm going to Puerto Rico. This trip is a siblings trip, so say hello to my siblings. Taisha. And CJ. CJ. Let me tell y'all about what happened this morning. Me and all my guys hate Frontier <laughs> because we booked a flight to Puerto Rico for 6 a.m. Um, we were supposed to be in Puerto Rico at 9 a.m. It is currently 5. It's 1.25. We were supposed to be in Puerto Rico already, but this is what happened. I was rushing, rushing, rushing to do my hair, finish my hair. Didn't get home to Pennsylvania until 3 a.m. So we were kind of cutting it a little close, a little close, but you know, it's, we were still, we still had plenty of time to make it to our flight, go through TSA, um, check our bags, all that. Get to, get to the Philadelphia airport. Mind you, I'm not even in the Philadelphia airport. I'm in JFK now. But we're, we're gonna get to that, we're gonna get to that. So we get to the Frontier check-in. And they're telling us that the guy for the bags has already left. This is at 5 o'clock. Our flight was at 6. They're saying the guy for the bags has already left and he's not coming back. And that we cannot get onto our flight anymore. And we're like, that's odd. That's weird because we're an hour early. Like, the plane did not leave yet. So what do you mean we can't get on our flight? They were being so annoying and literally not trying to work with us or anything. I don't even want to start with the nonsense that is Frontier. But just know... Just, just spend the extra money to not fly them. I'm, that's all I'm gonna say. Just spend the extra coin because it's gonna cost you in the end if you don't. But my mom rebooked us a new ticket out of JFK so that way we can still get to Puerto Rico today because Frontier was saying the only other flight is tomorrow. And that would literally take away a whole day of us traveling and having fun in Puerto Rico. So that was a no-go. Found a flight out of JFK to go to Puerto Rico today. So we're gonna get there at seven. And child this morning was i wouldn't say it was stressful it was annoying because i knew we would figure out a way but it was just really annoying having to deal with frontier this morning and it was literally five o'clock in the morning i didn't get no sleep i pulled the all-nighter but we're here we're gonna do the puerto rico song every time i travel i do a song for wherever we're going and i made a puerto rico song but i'll tell you guys the song when we're finally there so cue the montage cue the b-roll and i'll see y'all in puerto rico Welcome to my crib. Come on. We are staying in the Marriott Hotel in San Juan, Puerto Rico. And I want to show you guys around because this room is really cute, really nice. So starting over here, a nice little sliding mirror. You know we need a full, full mirror for the fits. But it's giving, it's giving foe, it's hitting foe. Robes, we only got two, we're gonna have to ask for another one. Little storage unit, ooh. <laughs> oh my God, a little storage, never hurt nobody. Blow dryer, cool, let's go. Boom, my battery died, but we back. So over here, why I thought this would open? Maybe pull it out. <laughs> we have a nice little bench drawer. I really like this. I kind of want this for my own like house. Anyway, over here, you know, standard little seating area. Nice little place for us to do our makeup. Drawers. A fridge. What's in here? Nothing. Nothing. 
I hope you're hungry for nothing. I hope you're hungry for nothing. <laughs> anyway, and then over here is the balcony. You can't see the view right now, but I promise I'm gonna show the view in the morning because we have a great view, okay? Right here, a nice little seating join, a little seating moment. I feel like I could take a picture here too. It's really cute, it's really vibey. And then let me show you the bathroom. My brother. Airport clothes on the bed. Is it's insane. his bed. It's his bed. <laughs> Here's the bathroom. So nice. The lighting in here is insane. I'm going to take the craziest pictures. Ooh, a nice little vanity mirror here. You're not stealing that. That's mine. I already have one. Okay, cool. Anyway, here's the shower. Nothing really to rave home about, but this is a nice bathroom. I really like the finishes on it. It's really, really cute. But yeah, that completes this tour. Let's get started with the Puerto Rico fun, Puerto Rico madness and badness combination. Let's go. Okay, night one in Puerto Rico. Finished getting ready. Everyone is like pretty hangry and hungry and ready to eat. So yeah, but quick OOTD. I'm just wearing this um, romper from Etiquette, um, belt Shein, and then I'm pretty sure these sandals are from Shein. Outfit check. Bass Pro Shop hat, uh, Cuban link, uh, <laughs> Supreme Sweet waistband um, bag, shorts, shorts from um, Shein, and shirt from Boohoo Man, and Gray Fall Dunks. Okay, drip. Tight, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Earrings Primark, top Shein, shorts Primark. Actually, shoes Shein too, so Shein Primark low combo. Period. Now that outfit checks are done out the way, this is the final look. Um, we're gonna just, I screenshotted a few places that are open until 2 a.m. Um, we're gonna pick between whichever place is the closest, and then we're gonna head to La Placita. Um, but I'm not bringing my camera with me, but I will vlog on my phone, so come with us on our first night in Puerto Rico. Wait a minute, shot o'clock! <laughs> Are you guys excited? Sorry, shoes. <laughs> yes, because I finally get to ride one by myself. Anyway, we got ready early this morning. We did not want to be late. We did not want to miss it. So, got ready. We got some empanadas. A little kebab. It's also Haitian flag day, so we all have our flags. Flag. Flag. But I don't know how much vlogging I'm going to get on this camera because I'm going to be driving one of them. So, we'll see. But I've never driven by myself before, so I hope I don't die. We actually got back some time ago, 
um we got a drink at the hotel bar when we got back we showered we got back the lady was cleaning our room so we went down to the pool area that was a cute little time but it was getting really hot really fast and then we came back up we all showered and now we're about to go get some food because i'm starving like marvin i also want to go to old san juan and just walk around explore whatever the vibes may be um because it's a nice day and we might as well explore while we're here but let me tell y'all about the atv experience okay okay so I bought a purse and they didn't have any like storage for anything. They didn't have locked storage or like lockers or anything. So I had to have my bag on the actual jet ski, jet ski, on the actual ATV. And my bag was basically about to fall out. It was first it was by my toes. So it was getting wet. I was so afraid from my, all my cameras in my bag. And then a guy gave me like a little strap to like strap my bag to the back of the seat. And that strap, after a couple bumps in the road, that thing was off. So... Don't recommend bringing a bag. I think I usually bring a fanny pack, so I don't know why I didn't think to bring a fanny pack this trip, but I was rushing when I was packing. But nevertheless, if you're going ATVing, bring a fanny pack. That's just save yourself the trouble, please. Um, but the terrain, like, it's just not giving soft life. It's not giving soft life. Riding ATVs is just not for me. I just need to be passenger princess. I don't mind going for the ride as long as I'm not the one powering the, the machine. You know what I'm saying? Sergeant, what did you think? I like ATV driving. I'm a big driver. You know, that's just me. I'm the wild one. Remember jet skis in... Yes, I do months? remember that. <laughs> I do remember that. There was this yeah. one part of the ATVs where we had to go up this oh. rocky, this rocky <laughs> hill, and this girl got stuck. She got stuck at the top, and I also got stuck Literally, at the top. I got but, stuck, and then I almost hit into the people that were behind me. And I look, I'm looking back at them like, guys, I'm stuck. Like, can y'all start reversing something? Do something. And I, it's not like I got stuck once. I got stuck twice. I got stuck multiple times. And I guess it rained or something because it was really muddy and really, like, lots of pools of water. And the muddy parts was making you, like, slip and slide. And I was just not for it. Let's see what CJ thinks. He's literally asleep. CJ, what did you think of ATVs? It was fun. What was your favorite part? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Uh, CJ was telling me that I was riding slow and that I was not a good driver. But I was driving fine. It's just I was up against the elements. Earth, wind, fire, water. Maybe no fire. But water for sure. So, yeah. It wasn't... It wasn't... ATV, I just gotta be passenger princess. That's all I'm gonna say. I feel like in DR, it was way less like bumpy, bumpy, bumpy. But anyway, it was because I was driving. I guess. Anyway, let's go eat and I'll take you out. <laughs> Okay, vlog it is now nighttime we just went to the beach to take some pictures i'm gonna give y'all a little preview a little sneak peek because <laughs> they're eating they're literally eating like straight eatery and i took it with this camera actually so any digital camera camera really works if you want to get the digital camera vibe but right now we're on our way to eater esther ether hmm let me figure out the name for real. a chair rooftop and lounge it's a rooftop like dinner place and we're headed there now it's not far um i changed my outfit from the green that i was wearing because that dress is itchy i got it from jaded london 
I'm gonna sell it if y'all want it. It'll be on my Poshmark. The link is down below because I personally that I can't wear that dress. That dress is too itchy for me. No, 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 no. But here we went to La Casita Blanca, and uh, that food was okay. It was definitely like giving like local mom and pop. Like if you really want an authentic Puerto Rican experience, go there because they didn't have menus. The guy was walking around with the board and bringing the board to each table. But the food there was okay. It was okay. I would give it like a six point seven out of ten. It was okay. And then we went to Old City, Old City. Oh my God, Old San Juan. And today was the Puerto Rican Day Parade, so we got to see the Puerto Rican Day Parade. It was, it's the first Puerto Rican Day Parade ever in Puerto Rico, which I think is crazy to me because they, I feel like they should be all over that. But that was cute. That was fun. It was really hot, though, so um, I had to deal with the sun beating on my back. But it was really cute. There was confetti in the sky and everything. It was a vibe. And we also went to Anita a gelato that place i saw a lot on tiktok but i definitely think it's overhyped because it was not that good i would give it a five it was too sweet it was too sweet but let's go before we miss our reservation hello vlog today is a new day today is is today Sunday? Yeah. I don't even know the days. The days blurring together. But today is Sunday. We're on our way to go jet skiing. We're at Laquilla Beach. I think I'm saying that right. Laquillo. Laquillo Beach. And currently looking for our, I think this is it. Looking for the jet ski people. Yeah! All these dang butterflies. But yeah, on our way to jet ski, twerking on a wave runner. So excited. How's everybody feeling? I'm tired. But I, I let everyone sleep in this morning. I was like, you I'm gonna let them yes, sleep. I need my little mornings of peace. <laughs> but let me show you how to be. It is a little bit later and we are currently at the beach just relaxing, chillaxing. We got some food near Laquillo Beach. We headed back. I think we're all sleeping before we're back. It was probably like an hour, 45 minute ride back. I think we're all knocked out. I know I was. But now we're at the beach relaxing. I got me a little pineapple. I'm here with my brother. My sister is still upstairs sleeping. I don't know when she's going to come down. but. Let's relax. Let's actually vacay on this vacation. to do a tour, a rum tasting tour. Um, 
yeah we just checked out of our hotel we left our bags there though um and our flight leaves tonight at eight but we're not playing with frontier you already know the shenanigans that happened earlier in this vlog so we're gonna get there early because i don't want to hear it i really don't want to hear it today and i do not want to be stranded in Puerto Rico. i got things to do tomorrow anyway how are you feeling about the trip? Pretty good. Pretty good trip. We had a lot of fun. Jet skis. We did ATVs. Mm -hmm. And that was all, like all by ourselves. All by ourselves. Usually like, when we did that before, like I had to drive with him. Yeah. Or I had to drive with someone else. Yeah. This time we were able to all like have our own like vehicles to do all the activities, which was really fun. Yesterday, oh my gosh, we went back to La Placita. We went earlier so we could like beat the crowds, I guess. I mean, it still got a little crowded, but it wasn't as crowded as the first time we went. But we went to Tulum, one of the clubs on the strip, and it was a good time. Like, the DJ was actually pretty good, and I'm a snob when it comes to DJs. So, it was really, he was really good. Um, and we had a good time. Like, we was dancing, got drinks, um, had some hookah. Like, it was a good time. I tend to recommend. And if you want to go to La Placita, I would definitely say, would suggest going earlier and just waiting for the crowds to come as opposed to like having to wait on the lines. Like, And I'm also a line snob. I don't even like waiting on lines. But it was a nice, short, quick little line. And I didn't even realize Tulum was so big. Like, from the front, it looks like it's going to be a small club, but it's so much space like in, in the back. So um, don't be don't be discouraged if you see it's looking crowded in the front. It's probably more space in the back. Um, but yeah, headed to the Bacardi factory and let's go taste some rum. back late last night well arrived in philly at 12 and then i drove immediately back home because i had work today yeah i did not take the day off after my vacation like a true adult should and i should have done that but i'm gonna close out the vlog i had so much fun in puerto rico this is my second time being there i don't know maybe i do have a vlog from the last time i went to puerto rico if you want to check that out but this time we did a lot i tried to do this time we tried to do things that we didn't do last time we were in Puerto Rico, but had a good time with my siblings, our first sibling trip. You know, we fight like siblings, we have fun like siblings, and it was a good time. Right now I'm about to take everything out of my suitcase and wash it because it has sand all over it and I don't want sand to be trailing in my house. Um, but we got a prep for Miami this weekend, so it's a lot of things happening in DC, so I'm feeling a little bit of FOMO, but like, I'm gonna be in the games. So yeah, just preparing for that. And I think I might get my nails done. And yeah, be sure to like this video if you like this video. Be sure to comment down below any questions you have about our itinerary. And then also be sure to subscribe for more quality content because this summer is gonna be so lit. Okay, it's gonna be so lit. I'm claiming it, I'm manifesting it. It's already starting off on a good note. Vacation, back to back vacations. Yeah, it's gonna be a good summer. It's gonna be a good summer. So, yeah, let me get my life together and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.